Chapter 1116, Primal Dragon Bone The strange phenomenon within the dragon transformation pool continued for a full five days. Five days later, the pool gradually became peaceful again, while the faint purple-gold light reflected off the water's surface also quietly disappeared. Although the dragon transformation pool had regained its calm, Lin Dong still did not appear. This caused Yuan Qian's group to look forward to the outcome with impatience and expectation. They anxiously wished to know just what had occurred in the dragon transformation pool. Even though they were anxious, Lin Dong did not appear and they were also unable to charge inside to retrieve him. Therefore, all they could do was helplessly look at each other and obediently wait. An entire month passed as they waited. After a month, the dragon transformation pool was now so calm that it was void of any ripples. The strange phenomenon from before was like the momentary blooming of an serious flower. Meanwhile, no one surfaced from the pool. If one counted the time, one would find that two months had passed since Lin Dong entered the dragon transformation pool. Yuan Qian stood with his hands behind his back on a mountain in the vicinity of the dragon transformation pool. He did not leave this spot during the past two months. His eyes were firmly fixed onto the dragon transformation pool below. From this, it was possible to see how seriously he viewed this matter. Many elders stood behind him with differing expressions. However, they gradually began to frown as time passed. Tribe leader, Lin Dong should be fine right? An elder finally could not help but ask. It had already been such a long time. Yet, why was there no activity at all? Could it be that Lin Dong was killed when challenging ancestor? Yuan Qian hesitated for a moment before releasing a bitter laugh. Even he could not sense the interior of the bone burial hall. This little fellow is after all someone recommended by Qing Ji. It will be difficult to explain things to Qing Ji if anything happens to him here. An elder frowned and said. Qing Ji had a rather unique status within the dragon tribe. In terms of seniority, even Yuan Qian was a little younger. The only ones who were comparable to him in the entire dragon tribe were likely those few ancient existences who were in a deep seclusion. Matters of men will be decided by fate. Yuan Qian shook his head. It was obviously pointless to be unnecessarily worried at this point in time. Entering the dragon transformation pool was extremely dangerous to begin with. This was something that Lin Dong knew and Qing Ji was even more clear about. The elders ceased speaking after hearing this and once again turned their eyes towards the calm dragon transformation pool as they waited for something to happen. A large group of younger generation dragon tribe members gathered together a short distance from Yuan Qian's group. The three individuals at the front were Yuan Xian, Yan Shan, and Yan Feng. Presently, they were also watching the dragon transformation pool with uncertainty. It was likely that they had managed to hear some overwhelming information from their elders during this period of time. It is unexpected that he has actually entered the bone burial hall. It is rumored that only those who enter can obtain the ancient dragon bone, Yan Shan smacked his lips together. His eyes were filled with emotion. He never imagined that Lin Dong would succeed where many outstanding members of the dragon tribe had failed. This Lin Dong is really impressive. Yan Feng sighed. Even with his pride, he had no choice but to admit that he was unable to do what Lin Dong had done. The surrounding youths from the dragon tribe silently nodded and sighed. All of them were usually extremely arrogant. Their status as members of the dragon tribe allowed them to proudly look down on most of those in the same generation. However, this arrogance of theirs had suffered such a heavy blow that they had begun to feel a little depressed. As members of the Dragon Tribe, they were well aware of just how difficult it was to enter the Bone Burial Hall. At the very front, Yuan Xian did not utter a single word. She gently bit her red lips while she hugged her chest. Those eyes of hers contained some stubbornness as she stared at the calm Dragon Transformation Pool. Soon after however, this stubbornness turned into dejectedness. As the daughter of the tribe leader, she naturally knew more than the others. Therefore, she was aware that Lin Dong had not only entered the Bone Burial Hall, but had even barged into the realm of the willpower domain of the Dragon Tribe's greatest ancestor. 
Moreover, he had even challenged the latter. That fellow's ambition was not limited to merely the ancient dragon bone. He, wished to obtain the strongest primal dragon bone of the dragon tribe. That was something that even Qing Zhi and her father were unable to touch. You are really ambitious. Aren't you afraid of choking to death on that ambition? Yuan Xian mumbled to herself as she gently clenched her hand. Although Lin Dong's performance in the dragon transformation pool had greatly shocked her, she did not think that he would really succeed. Regardless of how one put it, there was only a single person who had managed to obtain the primal dragon bone during the endlessly long history of the dragon tribe. That person was a powerful existence who had once managed to unite and rule over the demonic beast world, the Six Finger Sage Dragon Emperor. She did not think that Lin Dong was actually comparable to that godlike existence in the hearts of all the Dragon Tribe members. The subsequent wait continued for a long time while the Dragon Transformation Pool remained calm and rippleless. Time quietly passed day by day, and in the blink of an eye, another half a month had passed. With the passing of each day, worry gradually began to surface on Yuan Qian's face. The originally still somewhat shocked Dragon Tribe elders looked to each other and sighed softly. There were feelings of pity in their sighs. From the looks of it, there was a very high chance that Lin Dong had failed. Otherwise, it was impossible that there was not even the slightest activity at all. After all, this would not happen even when someone obtained the ancient dragon bone in the past. Additionally, Lin Dong had been in the dragon transformation pool for far too long. The abundant energy of the dragon transformation pool was also exceptionally berserk in nature. Hence, it was not the case where it would become more beneficial the longer one stayed in the pool. If one was careless, one's body would explode due to the dragon transformation pool energy, turning into the energy of the pool. While the elders of the dragon tribe sighed in pity, the expressions of the younger generation members were grave. Originally, they had believed that a miracle would appear. Never would they have imagined that the source of this miracle had ultimately died prematurely. The setting sun hung in the horizon as dark red sunlight scattered down and enveloped the land. Tribe leader, we should perhaps seal the dragon transforming pool again. An elder looked at the sky and suddenly sighed. Yuan Qian's body seemed to tremble slightly upon hearing this. Soon after, he replied in a somewhat hoarse voice. Let's wait a little longer. That elder let out a bitter laugh, if the energy of the dragon transformation pool spreads, it will end up affecting the surrounding mountains. We have already opened it for far too long this time around. The surrounding. At this point, he glanced at the the mountains around the dragon transformation pool. Dragon scales had actually grown on the surface of these mountains. They reflected an ice-cold light when sunlight shone down upon them. Yuan Qian was silent. In the end, he let out a deep sigh and slowly nodded. The elders waved their sleeves upon seeing this and many energy light pillars whistled forth. Finally, they interweaved above the dragon transformation pool, transforming into a light formation. Soon after, the light formation began to descend and enveloped the dragon transformation pool. However, thick dark clouds began to gather in the sky just as the light formation was about to descend. Lightning flashed and thunder roared within the dark clouds as a rumbling sound spread across the land. Wait! Yuan Qian immediately discovered the unusual activity in the sky. His expression quickly altered as he spoke in a deep voice. The dragon tribe elders immediately stopped the descending light formation. They lifted their heads and looked at the activity in the sky with shock in their eyes. A moment later, they seemed to recall something and all of their eyes suddenly shot towards the dragon transformation pool as overwhelming amazement surged within their eyes. It cannot be, no one knew who had involuntarily let out this shocked mutter. The dark clouds in the sky accumulated, becoming increasingly thick while frightening thunderbolts gathered within them. The entire world seemed to shake and tremble due to the rumbling thunder. Bang! The dragon transformation pool below, which had been peaceful for a long time, once again churned with numerous huge waves. Countless pairs of eyes shifted towards it. Subsequently, they saw a huge whirlpool slowly being formed in the pool. Swoosh! 
A ray of light suddenly shot out just as the whirlpool was formed, reaching into the sky. Following its appearance, a strange pressure slowly began to spread. It was vaguely possible to see a human figure appearing within the ray of light that had risen from the dragon transformation pool. Rumble. The dark clouds in the sky suddenly pulled back. Countless hundreds of thousands of feet large thunderbolts suddenly whizzed downwards like 10,000 dragons and charged towards the human figure inside the ray of light from all directions. However, the figure inside the ray of light did not move in the face of the 10,000 thunderbolts. He allowed the wild and violent thunderbolts to ruthlessly smash into his body. Many lightning arcs danced in the sky. In the end, they were all absorbed by the figure. The wild and violent thunderbolts in the sky continued for half an hour before gradually disappearing. As the dark clouds scattered, an unusually powerful mental energy ripple also began to reverberate across the land. Sunlight sprinkled down as the dark clouds disappeared, illuminating the mountain range. Those many pairs of eyes were firmly locked onto the ray of light. The figure within seemed to lazily stretch his waist before stepping forward and slowly walking out from within the ray of light. All eyes gathered on that very spot as the skinny figure finally appeared. This figure still had the same familiar young face. However, his body presently gave off a jade-like luster. His seemingly skinny body gave off a mighty pressure that seemed to cover the sky and land as it spread. In the face of this pressure, the expressions of the many dragon tribe members present changed drastically. They could feel a shudder surging out from within their bodies at this moment. It was a kind of pressure which originated from within their bloodline. The entire mountain range was completely quiet. Yuan Qian gazed at the skinny figure in the air as his hands slowly clenched tightly. A mumbling voice which contained an unclear emotion and a trace of well-hidden shock slowly spread. It, really is, the primal dragon bone. Chapter 1117 Punishment Elder. A young man hovered in midair while a warm jade color flickered on the surface of his skin. If one was to observe carefully, one would be able to see through his skin. Under his skin, was a crystal jade like skeleton. The pressure that permeated this place originated from his skeleton. Many individuals standing around the dragon transformation pool were staring in shock at that young man. However, none of them dared to speak owing to that pressure. In fact, their faces were filled with shock, revealing the waves churning within their hearts. Hovering in the sky, Lin Dong's gently shut eyes also slowly opened up. Following which, the white light undulated on his skin gradually faded. Finally, it became calm once again. The pressure had disappeared completely. Opening his eyes, Lin Dong immediately saw many pairs of eyes scattered across the mountain, staring back at him. He was startled as he quickly laughed in a dry and unnatural manner. Standing on a mountaintop, Yuan Qian also recovered his senses at this moment. His eyes wore a complicated expression as he glanced at Lin Dong, who was hovering in the sky. After which, he turned his head and exchanged glances with the elders behind him. Their faces were also complicated and mysterious. Everyone, please be dismissed. Yuan Qian mused for a moment. His eyes looked around him before he finally opened his mouth to speak. Those members of the dragon tribe finally began to leave after hearing Yu and Qian's orders. However, there were still some whisperings as they left. Clearly, their hearts were not at peace. After the ordinary members of the dragon tribe left, the elders stayed behind instead. Their tensed faces caused Lin Dong to gulp softly in his heart. At this moment, he was naturally aware of the magnitude of the gift that he had received from the dragon transformation pool. That was because there was only one set of primal dragon bone in the entire dragon tribe. However, that only set was now taken by a person without any dragon tribe bloodline. It was likely that the emotions in the hearts of these members of the dragon tribe were extremely interesting at the moment. Young friend Lin Dong, please come down and have a chat. Yuan Qian looked at Lin Dong and smilingly said. Lin Dong nodded and landed on the ground. His face appeared calm, but there was a caution deep within his eyes. 
although he had taken great advantage of the dragon tribe by obtaining the primal dragon bone, he would definitely not hand it over. Otherwise, his training foundation would be severely damaged. Haha, <laughs> young friend Lin Dong, there is no need to worry. Even though the primal dragon bone is an important treasure of our dragon tribe, we are not a barbaric tribe. Yuan Qian's eyes were sharp. Although Lin Dong hid the caution in his eyes, he was still able to detect it. Hence, he immediately comforted him with a smile. Lin Dong felt a little embarrassed upon hearing this. Following which, his body gradually relaxed. It seems like young friend Lin Dong has obtained a great reward. Yuan Qian swept his eyes over Lin Dong and said. Lin Dong nodded. Even with his calm temperament, he involuntarily grinned upon thinking of the rewards he had received. After all, he had indeed reaped significant benefits. Not only did the skeleton in his body transform into the most powerful primal dragon bone, but his strength had also soared. In fact, he had directly stepped into the peak of the advanced profound death stage and even his mental energy had reached the peak divine symbol master from the advanced divine symbol master. If he advanced a little further, he would have broken through the divine symbol master and advance into the legendary symbol grand master, which was comparable to a samsara stage expert. Only after reaching that level, would the might of one's mental energy be slowly displayed. Most people in this world practiced Yuan power. At the same time, there were also some who practiced both at the same time. Although there might be some individuals who were able to obtain significant accomplishments in their Yuan power cultivation, when it came to mental energy cultivation, it was extremely rare to find someone who was able to break the mold and reach the legendary Grand Master level. As a result, many of them were stuck after reaching the peak of the advanced Divine Symbol Master and they had no choice but to give up and focus on their Yuan power cultivation instead. Fortunately, with the help of their mental energy, they were far more efficient in their Yuan power cultivation. If one was to evaluate the present Lin Dong, unless he was facing some individuals who possess unique techniques, there were hardly any profound death stage experts that could match up to him. Moreover, if he unleashed his full strength, it was even possible for him to contend against a samsara stage expert. In fact, he would no longer be caught in embarrassing situations, whereby he could only rely on a few powerful techniques to threaten a samsara stage expert, like he did in the past. Therefore, he had reaped significant rewards during this trip to the dragon transformation pool. It was sufficient for Lin Dong to part his lips and laugh out loud. You met our ancestor in the bone burial hall, Am I right? Yuan Qian looked at Lin Dong. Those dragon tribe's elders stared at Lin Dong after he uttered those words. Lin Dong could only nod his head upon seeing this formation. You, defeated the will of the ancestor. Yuan Qian's eyes widened slightly. Even his tone became a little higher. It was likely that this was quite a shocking fact, even to someone like him. After all, he was once suppressed and destroyed by the will of the Six-Finger Sage Dragon Emperor. I summoned the will of the Devouring Master. Lin Dong shrugged his shoulder. He knew that it was virtually impossible for him to defeat the will of the Six-Finger Sage Dragon Emperor on his own. At the very least, he was currently unable to do so. I see. Yuan Qian and the others sighed in relief after hearing these words. If this was the case, it was still possible for them to accept it. In that case, have you really obtained the primal dragon bone? An elder of the dragon tribe involuntarily asked a superfluous question. His old face suddenly reddened after his words sounded. It was likely that he also realized that his question was superfluous. Tribe leader, this is an important matter, another elder sighed. He hesitated for a moment before speaking. If young friend Lin Dong is willing to return the primal dragon bone, we are willing to pay any price for it. Elder, you should be aware how detrimental it would be, if you remove the dragon bones from my body. Perhaps, I will have difficulties making progress in my cultivation in the future. Lin Dong's expression changed slightly. He took a step back as he spoke in a deep voice. Young friend Lin Dong, there is no need to worry. Yuan Qian hurriedly said. However, 
the primal dragon bone is an important treasure of our dragon tribe. Although young friend Lin Dong performed a great deed for our dragon tribe, he is ultimately not a member of our tribe, an elder involuntarily spoke in a deep voice. Aren't we turning into ungrateful individuals if we force him to surrender the primal dragon bone? Some elders opposed his opinion. However, this is a major matter. Yuan Qian looked at the elders, who were arguing bitterly over this matter, before he quickly glanced at a wary Lin Dong. It was likely that he had also ended up with a headache because of this matter. Things would be alright if Lin Dong had merely obtained the ancient dragon bone. Although it was relatively rare, it was still acceptable to these elders. Unfortunately, he had obtained the primal dragon bone, for which there was only one set in the entire dragon tribe. The dragon tribe is actually arguing to such an extent because of the primal dragon bone. Are you trying to turn us into a joke? An exceptionally old voice suddenly resounded across the sky, while the upper echelons of the dragon tribe were bickering. Upon hearing this voice, not only did those elders suddenly shut their mouths, but even Yuan Qian lifted his head in shock. He looked at the sky and exclaimed, Grand Elder. Lin Dong lifted his head. He could see the space at that spot suddenly becoming distorted. Following which, an old man holding a walking stick strangely appeared in his sight. Based on the expressions of Yuan Qian's group, this old man clearly possessed an extremely senior position. However, he possessed a smooth, youth-like skin and his eyes were exceptionally deep. There was a vague reincarnation ripple surrounding him and that fluctuation was even stronger than Yuan Qian. In fact, it did not lose out to Qing Ji. Greetings to the Grand Elder. Those elders hurriedly bowed and greeted him upon seeing this. They had an even more respectful attitude compared to when they were facing Yuan Qian. Grand Elder, you came out of your seclusion. Yuan Qian asked joyfully. If I do not appear. I'm afraid that our dragon tribe would have completely thrown away its face. The old man with a walking stick said. This caused those elders from before, who wanted to ask Lin Dong to surrender his dragon bones, to become embarrassed. Grand Elder, this matter, Yuan Qian spoke with a bitter smile. The old man with the walking stick waved his hand. After which, his extremely deep eyes, which seemed to have seen through reincarnation, looked at Lin Dong. His eyes randomly swept downwards before nodding. An emotional expression appeared on his elderly face, it is really unexpected that the primal dragon bone would end up being obtained by someone outside the tribe. As Lin Dong did not know the agenda of this mysterious grand elder, he did not speak up. All he did was cup his hands together. The primal dragon bone is indeed an extremely important treasure of our dragon tribe. However, it is precisely because it was far too important, that no one in our dragon tribe has managed to obtain it. Since you managed to do so, it seems like you must have some affinity with it. Moreover, we do not dare to object to something that even the ancestor has agreed upon. The old man with a walking stick slowly said. However, he is not a member of our dragon tribe, an elder spoke hesitantly. If we stick to our pedantic ways, Perhaps our dragon tribe will eventually end up declining like the other overlord tribes. The old man holding onto a walking stick spoke in a faint voice. Immediately, he paused and looked at Lin Dong. Young friend, may I know if you will object to becoming an elder of our dragon tribe? Lin Dong's heart rejoiced slightly upon hearing this. He hurriedly said, I am more than willing to do so. Lin Dong was naturally able to tell that this grand elder, who possessed an extremely high status in the dragon tribe, was trying to help him. The old man with the walking stick nodded. Following which, five colored light gathered in his hand and directly transformed into a purple gold dragon seal. Meanwhile, there was frightening ripples being emitted from that dragon seal. Young friend, this is the punishment dragon seal of our dragon tribe. It controls punishments and you will have the authority to punish any member of the dragon tribe. From today onwards, you will be a trusted punishment elder of our dragon tribe. Lin Dong was startled. He was not familiar with this so-called punishment dragon seal. However, 
he could tell that even the expressions of those elders from the Dragon Tribe and Yuan Qian had changed at this moment. Chapter 1118, Departure Punishment Elder Lin Dong looked at the purple gold dragon seal on the palm of the Grand Elder of the Dragon Tribe, before he turned to look at Yuan Qian's group, who had a change in their expressions. Immediately, he came to a comprehension. It turns out this so-called punishment elder was not just an empty title, like he had imagined. Grand Elder, the punishment elder wields huge authority. Isn't it a little inappropriate to hand it to an outsider? An elder involuntarily asked. The punishment elder held great authority. Strictly speaking, he was ranked even a little higher than these elders. In the past, this position was usually held by a reputable individual in their dragon tribe. For example, the previous punishment elder was Qing Ji. However, he subsequently retired and this position became vacant. However, right now, this position was actually handed over to a human without any dragon tribe bloodline. Therefore, this inevitably caused them to be bewildered. The remaining elders exchanged glances with each other and even Yuan Qian was in a state of mild disbelief. As of now, the Grand Elder had taken the punishment seal out. Hence, once Lin Dong had the seal, notwithstanding the Dragon Tribe members, anyone who possessed even the slightest Dragon bloodline would be suppressed by it. After all, this was an object that was unique to the punishment Elder. Like I said, insisting on our pedantic ways will only lead to our downfall. The Grand Elder spoke in a faint voice. He waved his hand towards Yuan Qian's group. After which, he looked at Lin Dong and smiled, Young friend Lin Dong, are you willing to become the new punishment elder of our dragon tribe? Lin Dong stared at this mysterious Grand Elder, who appeared warm and friendly, before he parted his lips into a smile. In his heart however, he secretly mused that willy foxes grow more cunning with age, the same way that ginger becomes spicer the older it gets. Clearly, the latter knew how crucial the primal dragon bone was to the dragon tribe. However, he also knew that it was extremely unjustified and difficult to get Lin Dong to surrender the primal dragon bone. Since this was the case, it was better to directly pull Lin Dong into the dragon tribe. The so-called punishment elder might possess great authority, but the dragon tribe would naturally have ways to deal with it if Lin Dong really abused the punishment seal. As such, they were able to keep the primal dragon bone in their dragon tribe without paying a hefty price. Nonetheless, Lin Dong was still surprised by the generosity of the Grand Elder, as he directly allowed Lin Dong to become the dragon tribe's punishment elder. Originally, he thought that most of these ancient tribes were extremely strict and always stuck to the rules. Since the Grand Elder has spoken, I naturally do not dare to object. Lin Dong cupped his hands together and said respectfully. Perhaps this was indeed a good way to resolve the current situation. Otherwise, these elders would be truly unwilling to allow the primal dragon bone to land in the hands of someone, who was completely unrelated to their dragon tribe. Moreover, becoming closer to the dragon tribe was something that would only bring benefits to Lin Dong. As one of the four overlord tribes, their name held quite a great deterrence in the demonic beast world. It was likely that the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander would be stunned if news of this matter spreads to the Beast War region. Lin Dong, who possessed the Punishment Seal, would likely have little difficulties dealing with the six-winged flying dragon, who had an impure bloodline. When he saw this, a smile immediately appeared on the elderly face of the Grand Elder. Following which, he said, in the future, you shall be the punishment elder of our dragon tribe. You should learn the rules of our dragon tribe when you have the time. Lin Dong nodded nonchalantly. He also knew that even though the punishment elder held some actual authority, he did not have the qualifications to interfere in the matters of the dragon tribe. Additionally, he did not have the time to bother about these matters. Everyone was clearly aware that giving him this title was simply a way to connect him to the dragon tribe. Meanwhile, he was also able to successfully obtain the primal dragon bone and he could occasionally whip out the punishment seal to take advantage of the dragon tribe's authority to bully others. If there is nothing else, I will take my leave first. 
Perhaps I will be leaving the Dragon Tribe in the next two days. Lin Dong looked at Yuan Qian. He had already completed the most important objective for coming to the Dragon Tribe and there was no need to stay any further. Furthermore, there were still some problems to deal with back in the Beast War region. Moreover, he did not know if Little Martin had returned to the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe and whether the latter needed his help. I. Yuan Qian glanced at the Grand Elder. The latter nodded before he waved his hand. Duan Tao, you should take young friend Lin Dong to have a rest for today. Please send him off if he wants to leave. Understood. Standing at the back, Duan Tao respectfully acknowledged the order. After which, he smilingly said to Lin Dong, Let's go, Elder Lin Dong. Lin Dong involuntarily smiled bitterly when he heard that strange form of address. He once again cupped his hands and bowed to everyone present. After which, he turned around and left. The many elders on the mountain quietly sighed when they saw Lin Dong turning around to leave. The emergence of the primal dragon bone in this world was supposed to be a major event for their dragon tribe. Who would have expected it to end up like this? This little fellow is extraordinary. Do not think that he has taken advantage of our dragon tribe. Who knows what will happen in the future? The Grand Elder narrowed his eyes. His eyes contained great depth and wisdom. He softly said, being able to summon the will of the Devouring Master. Haha, this is not something that an ordinary person can do. Treat him as a genuine elder of our dragon tribe in the future and pay him due respect. No one can disobey this order. The Grand Elder's eyes turned towards the various elders of the dragon tribe before his voice became a little grave. The elders did not object upon hearing this. All they did was to respectfully acknowledge the order. The next day, Lin Dong saw Duan Tao waiting for him after he walked out of his room. When the latter saw him, he came forward to greet him with a smile. In fact, he appeared much friendlier than before and there was even a tinge of respect in his demeanor. News that Lin Dong had obtained the primal dragon bone had already spread within the dragon tribe. This naturally created quite a big commotion. This was especially the case after others learnt that even the Grand Elder had showed up and appointed Lin Dong as the new punishment elder of their dragon tribe. News about this matter spread uncontrollably from one ear to another. It was likely that this was the first time in the history of the dragon tribe, that an outsider had taken the position of punishment elder. Young brother Lin Dong, are you planning on leaving? Duan Tao smiled towards Lin Dong and asked. There are still some matters back in the Beast War region that I need to handle. Hence, I will have to make a trip back. Lin Dong shook his head. Although the Deep Lightning Mountain's position and reputation in the Beast War region was no longer inferior to that of the three great demon commanders after the battle at the Divine Item Mountain Range, its foundation was still quite weak. Therefore, he would have to put in more effort. After all, the Deep Lightning Mountain would be the foundation backing them three brothers, when they charged back to the eastern Xian region. Duan Tao ceased obstructing Lin Dong upon hearing this. He nodded and said, in that case, please leave. The spatial teleportation array has already been prepared. It will be able to send young brother Lin Dong back to the Beast War region swiftly. Duan Tao turned around and led the way after his voice sounded. Lin Dong followed closely behind. The two of them shuttled through the Dragon Tribe. Along the way, they met many members of the tribe. However, these people all had strange expressions upon seeing Lin Dong. Deep within their originally proud eyes, was a trace of fear. This caused Lin Dong to be a little stunned. It seems like this punishment elder was really no ordinary position in the Dragon Tribe. The both of them finally arrived at the top of a mountain. The spatial ripple in this area had already became chaotic. Moreover, Lin Dong could see Yuan Qian's presence here. The tribe leader of the Dragon Tribe was actually sending him off personally. Haha, <laughs> young friend Lin Dong, you might not possess the Dragon Tribe's bloodline, but you possess a set of dragon bones. From a certain point of view, you can be considered as a member of our dragon tribe. Yuan Qian's originally stern face was covered with smiles as he looked at Lin Dong. 
This junior has taken advantage of your tribe this time around. If the Dragon Tribe needs my help in the future, I will definitely do my best to help. Lin Dong cupped his hands together and spoke solemnly. He always made things clear when it came to kindness and enmity. If the Dragon Tribe insisted on creating problems for him because of the primal dragon bone, he might not care about them in the future. However, the Dragon Tribe had taken the best measure to accommodate him. This undoubtedly left Lin Dong with a good impression of them. From another point of view, it must be said that the Grand Elder was really impressive and wise. His gentle tactics allowed their dragon tribe to end up with a friend that possess frightening potential. Although the current strength of this ally was unable to impress the dragon tribe, it was possible that the powerful dragon tribe might have to rely on Lin Dong's protection in the future. After all, who could predict the future? Yuan Qian was quite satisfied with Lin Dong's words as he smiled and nodded. After which, he clenched his hand, before a palm-sized golden totem appeared. He handed it to Lin Dong. You are to be considered as a member of our dragon tribe in the future. This is something that the Grand Elder has asked me to hand to you. You can shatter it if you run into any major problems in the future and our dragon tribe will come to your aid. Lin Dong involuntarily smiled upon hearing this. The Grand Elder was really thoughtful. However, it was likely that he was much more concerned about the primal dragon bone in Lin Dong's body. After all, if Lin Dong met with any mishaps, his primal dragon bone might end up in the hands of others. Disregarding the matter of whether that person could endure the overbearing strength of the primal dragon bone, just losing the primal dragon bone alone was already an extremely huge loss for the dragon tribe. However, Lin Dong did not care about whether the Grand Elder was concerned about him or the primal dragon bone. In any case, he understood that from today onwards, he had quite a close relationship with the dragon tribe and it would be a waste if he did not use this relationship. The teleportation array is almost completed. Yuan Qian turned his head to look at the distorted space, after Lin Dong accepted the totem, and said with a smile. Lin Dong nodded. He once again cupped his hands together towards Yuan Qian in a solemn fashion. Then, he spoke in a deep voice, this junior bids everyone goodbye. He did not hesitate any longer after speaking. He turned around before he directly shot into the distorted space. A wild and violent spatial fluctuation spread and his body became increasingly distorted within. Finally, he completely vanished. The chaotic spatial ripple over the mountain gradually calmed down. Yuan Qian looked at the spot where Lin Dong had disappeared before he sighed softly. Then, he muttered to himself, hopefully, our dragon tribe has made a worthwhile bet, just like what Grand Elder said. Chapter 1119, Mang Mountain Beast War Region, Deep Lightning Mountain the current Deep Lightning Mountain was clearly a lot livelier compared to two months ago, and their headquarters had also expanded tremendously. Countless powerful auras surged within the many mountains, while troops occasionally patrolled the skies, their sharp eyes scanning every part of Deep Lightning Mountain range. Thanks to the fight that took place at Divine Item Mountain range, Deep Lightning Mountain had completely established themselves in the Beast War region. In fact, their reputation was no longer inferior to that of the three great demon commanders' factions. Moreover, thanks to the mysterious divine palace that Lin Dong had obtained, they had a large number of divine objects in their hands, a fact that was sufficient to make many factions jealous. Hence, soon after the recruitment order was given, various powerful individuals came swarming over in hopes of taking advantage of this opportunity to enter Deep Lightning Mountain to obtain a divine object. However, Deep Lightning Mountain was clearly wary of these individuals. Therefore, not only was the recruitment criteria incomparably harsh, but those recruited must provide a certain amount of contributions before they were given a divine object. This so-called contribution required these people to lead their men to fight for territory on behalf of Deep Lightning Mountain, or to collect various resources. In summary, it was not an easy task to fulfill this criteria. These powerful individuals were likewise well aware of this. However, a divine object was indeed rare to come by, 
and obtaining one would boost one's strength significantly. Moreover, Deep Lightning Mountain was no longer the same as before, and even the other three great demon commanders' factions did not dare to offend them. Therefore, joining Deep Lightning Mountain would be akin to gaining an additional layer of protection. As such, despite the harsh recruitment criteria, there was still a long queue to join. Thanks to the extremely energetic recruiting of Deep Lightning Mountain, it slowly became the focal point of the entire Beast War region. Everyone began to feel that this faction, which was once as stiff as a pool of still water, was now brimming with life and vitality. It was likely that Deep Lightning Mountain would become the most dazzling existence in the Beast War region in the future. On the peak of the main mountain of Deep Lightning Mountain, were a series of towering halls. A hundred thousand feet large square lay in front of the most majestic looking hall. At this moment, a black torrent-like mass of figures were silently seated on the square-like statues. Shocking and ferocious auras radiated from their bodies. These figures wore dark black armor which were covered in mysterious patterns. These patterns appeared to move as they breathed while mysterious and powerful ripples vaguely spread from them. If one was to carefully observe this black torrent, one would discover that each and every individual of this over thousand army was breathing in unison. Tiny bits of aura rose from their bodies, before they gathered in midair, seemingly forming a giant hundred thousand feet large darkness tiger. The giant tiger lay in the sky as if in a slumber. However, everyone could clearly sense how brutal it would be once it opened its eyes. Various other departments in Deep Lightning Mountain would occasionally walk past the square. However, their eyes were frightened and envious when they looked at the black torrent on the square. Everyone knew that the Tiger Devouring Army was the most powerful faction in Deep Lightning Mountain, and every person in this faction was equipped with a divine object. The scale of this army would make any faction jealous. Of course, the only group in the entire Deep Lightning Mountain who could enjoy such luxurious treatment was the Tiger Devouring Army. As a result, many people desperately tried to join. However, it was obvious that this was no simple task. In fact, their bloody and cruel selection method caused many experts, who thought highly of themselves, to feel their scalps turn numb. This square faced a majestic great hall. A few pairs of eyes within the great hall were currently staring at this tiger-devouring army with burning desire. Haha, <laughs> Deep Lightning Mountain is really generous. It is likely that this tiger-devouring army alone will be able to match a samsara stage expert. A couple of familiar-looking groups from various factions were seated in the large hall. If one was to take a closer look, one would realize that they were actually the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, Ghost Condor Demon Commander and the Gold Armored Golden Ape Demon Commander. Little Flame's metal tower-like body was seated in the leader's spot. A baleful aura lingered around his rough-looking face, and not even the slightest bit of fear was present when faced with the three strongest leaders in the Beast War region. His lips cracked open as he said, The three of you did not come to my deep lightning mountain merely to utter such nonsense, am I right? Little Flame clearly did not have a good impression of these three who tried to stop them back at Divine Item Mountain range. Additionally, the current deep lightning mountain was not afraid of them. Hence, Little Flame was not overly courteous when he spoke to them. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's veins bulged upon seeing Little Flame's attitude. However, he also knew that the current Deep Lightning Mountain was different from before. Forget about that abnormally powerful young man from the Celestial Demon Martin tribe, even this increasingly vicious Little Flame caused him to feel a little fear. After all, he understood that if Little Flame was to join forces with his tiger devouring army, even he would have no choice but to retreat. Moreover, that fellow called Lin Dong was the person whom he was most wary and even frightened of. None of these three brothers were pushovers. Haha, <laughs> Commander Yan should know the reason why we came. That incident has created a huge uproar recently. The Golden Ape Demon Commander laughed bitterly and sighed. Little Flame had an indifferent expression as he replied, the grudge between Mang Mountain region and you three great demon commanders has nothing to do with my deep lightning mountain. Little Flame was naturally aware of the matter that the golden ape demon commander was referring to. 
This was because this matter had recently stirred a huge commotion in the entire Beast War region. In fact, the commotion stirred by this incident was not inferior to that of the incident back then at Divine Item Mountain Range. The source of this incident stemmed from the Mang Mountain region, which was located right next to the Beast War region. Like the Beast War region, the Mang Mountain region was also an extremely vast region and its size was definitely not inferior to that of the Beast War region. Moreover, both these territories typically did not interfere in each other's matters. However, ever since news of the incident at Divine Item Mountain Range spread, it clearly caused some repercussions. One of them was Mang Mountain region invading the Beast War region. The three great demon commanders, who held the highest positions in the Beast War region, were naturally the first to be affected by the invasion. The three great demon commanders were naturally rather furious over this matter. Mang Mountain region's action was undoubtedly a declaration of war against them. Nonetheless, despite their anger, their expressions became a little ugly when they recalled the strength of the Mang Mountain region. This Mang Mountain region was relatively famous in the demonic beast world. This was because the Mang Mountain region was one of the few regions that was completely unified. It was not as chaotic as the Beast War region, which had different factions competing against each other. Instead, only one faction existed in the entire Mang Mountain region. That faction was known as Mang Mountain. There were five great chiefs in Mang Mountain, and all of them were at the Samsara stage. Moreover, there were also many powerful individuals under them. Although the three great demon commanders factions were strong, they were still significantly weaker than Mang Mountain. This was also why the three great commanders were having a headache. They could not defeat the other party nor could they choose to retreat. Hence, all they could do was to look for their previous enemy, Deep Lightning Mountain. After all, everyone had clearly witnessed the strength of Deep Lightning Mountain. If they joined forces, it was likely that Mang Mountain would become a little more wary. Commander Yan, owing to our reputation, us three great demon commanders will be the first to be hit when Mang Mountain invades the Beast War region. However, if we are defeated, the other factions in the Beast War region can only choose between submitting or fleeing. At that time, even Deep Lightning Mountain will not be able to escape unscathed. The Ghost Condor Demon Commander stared at Little Flame. He paused for a moment before continuing, Additionally, Mang Mountain's actions are likely related to the Divine Item Treasury. Since it is now in your Deep Lightning Mountain's possession, do you think that they will easily let you off after defeating us? I am aware that you have that Celestial Demon Martin brother. However, Mang Mountain also has a complicated background. Moreover, in order to obtain the Divine Item Treasury, it is likely they will not fear such things. Little Flame knitted his brows. He was naturally aware of this fact. However, it was a little foolish if he allowed the three great demon commanders to drag him onto the same boat. When trouble comes knocking, my Deep Lightning Mountain will handle it. There is no need for all of you to fret on our behalf. You. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander involuntarily felt furious after witnessing Little Flame's indifferent attitude. He slammed his hands onto the stone table in front of him, instantly splitting it apart. Swoosh swoosh. However, rushing wind sounds immediately sounded in the large hall when the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander vented his anger. Promptly, many figures rushed out and stared sharply at the former. Even the tiger-devouring army in front of the hall suddenly let loose a low and deep tiger roar at the sky. Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, this is my deep lightning mountain. I'm afraid you cannot act as you please here. Little Flame stared at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander with balefulness as he coldly shouted. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's face turned steely green. Despite the fury he felt in his heart, he could only let out a cold snort. After all, this was the headquarters of Deep Lightning Mountain and the Tiger Devouring Army was waiting right outside. Therefore, even someone as hot-tempered as himself had no choice but to back down. Commander Yan, you should be well aware of how serious this issue is. Please give us a reply. Mang Mountain has set up a sky battle arena and sent out the five great chiefs. However, 
we only have three individuals on our side. The Golden Ape Demon Commander helplessly said. Little Flame became quiet. A moment later, he finally said, this is an extremely important matter. I will make my decision after Big Brother returns. He has already been gone for two months. I'm afraid that we do not have the luxury of time. The Golden Ape Demon Commander bitterly laughed. However, Little Flame's expression changed right after the Golden Ape Demon Commander spoke. He suddenly lifted his head to look at the entrance of the hall where a figure was slowly walking in. After which, a familiar laughter echoed in the hall. Haha, it is so lively the moment I return. Three great demon commanders, how have you guys been? Big brother. Little flame rose in surprise. The figure at the entrance to the hall moved and appeared at the empty leader position. He smilingly stared at the three great demon commanders. It was Lin Dong, who had just hurried back from the dragon tribe. Lin Dong looked at the three great demon commanders and smiled. I am already aware of this matter. It is indeed difficult to deal with Mang Mountain, but it is not impossible. Oh! The Golden Ape Demon Commander trio were startled. Their eyes stared at Lin Dong in surprise. The reason why Mang Mountain is so powerful is because they are united. Therefore, there is a simple way to deal with them. All we need to do, is to unite the entire Beast War region. Lin Dong smiled slightly. However, there was an indescribable feeling behind his smile. This was a good opportunity to expand Deep Lightning Mountain. Chapter 1120, Cooperation Unite the Beast War Region In the Great Hall, the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander trio were a little taken aback. Soon after, they lifted their heads and looked at the smiling Lin Dong, before speaking without any change in their expressions, What do you mean? The three of you should understand the meaning behind my words. Lin Dong grinned before he continued in an inattentive manner, The Beast War region is like loose sand, in other words, a terrible mess. The only way to fight Mang Mountain is to gather the many factions and form an alliance. Otherwise, I'm afraid that we will not be able to resist them. The Beast War region is chaotic to begin with. How can it be so easy to unite? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander coldly snorted and voiced his thoughts. There are indeed many factions within the Beast War region. However, most of them are attached to our four great factions. As long as this is our intention, the matter will be more or less decided. Lin Dong smilingly said. Although Deep Lightning Mountain was currently rapidly expanding, it was still far from the level that Lin Dong needed. Yet, it was pointless to be anxious in the face of this situation. After all, one might end up choking if one ate too quickly. However, the present situation was a rather good opportunity. If it was really possible to unite the factions within the Beast War region, Lin Dong was confident in gradually making Deep Lightning Mountain the main faction of this alliance even if it was impossible to directly obtain full control of it. At that time, it was likely that even the three other great demon commanders would have no choice but to integrate themselves into Deep Lightning Mountain. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander had an indescribable expression. They had long thought of forming an alliance. From a certain point of view, it was indeed not difficult if they were willing. However, once they formed a new huge faction like Mang Mountain, who would be the leader of this faction? The similarly cunning three great demon commanders had naturally also thought about the hidden ambition of Lin Dong to unify all the factions under himself. However, the power of their three factions were on par with each other, and it was basically impossible to make one submit to either of the other two. Haha, <laughs> we merely need to deal with Mang Mountain. There is no need to go so far, right? The ghost condor demon commander laughed dryly. He possessed absolute control in his own faction. However, once an alliance was formed, his authority would naturally diminished. If there is a Mang Mountain today, there might be a Min Mountain tomorrow. Don't tell me that we are going to do this again when the time comes? This is a solution that solves the root of the problem. Moreover, even though the three of you are well known in the Beast War region, you only possess a small territory here. 
if we were to unite, our strength will definitely soar. In future, our territory might no longer be limited to the Beast War region, Lin Dong smiled and spoke in a faint voice. Of course, if the three of you are satisfied with being overlords of your own respective small territories, take it as if I did not say anything. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander Trio's hands abruptly tightened after hearing Lin Dong's last few words as excitement flashed deep within their eyes. All of them were quite powerful and the ambition in their hearts was naturally not small. They had thought of trying to make a name for themselves, but from a certain point of view, they had reached their limits in their present state. None of them possessed an overly shocking background. Although the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander had some relation with the Dragon Tribe, it was clear that he had barely any say within it. This was despite him having a strength that could match some elders. Therefore, even though they might be able to become an overlord of a territory within this beast war region, they would at most be slightly well known in the entire demonic beast world. Therefore, an enormous faction consisting of a united region like Mang Mountain did not give them any face and had attacked as it pleased. However, the three of them had no solution to this sullen state. Even if we form an alliance, do you have any way to give us a background that others will not dare to look down upon? The Golden Ape Demon Commander's expression fluctuated as he continued in a deep voice, the reason Mang Mountain can rule over the Mang Mountain region is because that place is within the territory managed by the Nine Phoenix Tribe. The five great leaders of Mang Mountain have also all pledged their loyalty to the Nine Phoenix Tribe. Nine Phoenix Tribe Lin Dong was taken aback. He clearly did not expect that Mang Mountain would be related to the Nine Phoenix Tribe, one of the four overlord tribes. It was no wonder that even the Golden Ape Demon Commander Trio was so wary of them. We are aware that you have a brother from the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe. However, even he will have difficulty getting the Celestial Demon Martin Tribe to back us, right? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander said in a cold voice. Lin Dong glanced at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and said, My brother is temporarily unable to represent the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. However, I can pull the Dragon tribe to our side. Dragon tribe. The Golden Ape Demon Commander and Ghost Condor Demon Commander were stunned. Soon after, they looked towards the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander with strange expressions. In this place, only the latter had some relation with the Dragon tribe. Yet, Lin Dong had spoken such words in front of him, making this scene seem a little comical. TCH, the Dragon Tribe has always been neutral. It is impossible for them to agree to back us. The Dragon Tribe has never given me any help over the years while I was establishing Blood Dragon Hall. Even less needs to be said for yourself. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander ridiculed. You are you, I am I. Lin Dong slightly lowered his eyes. His faint voice also contained some mockery. What right do you have to utter these words? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander was furious as he sneered, If you believe that you can get us to agree to your suggestions with these words, I'm afraid that you are a little too naive. Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, you better be a little more polite. Little Flame's eyes were filled with a baleful aura as he stared at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander and shouted. Lin Dong waved his hand. His eyes contained some playfulness as he stared at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander. Soon after, he gently bent his long fingers as a purplish gold light flashed and appeared. A purplish gold dragon seal was held in his hand as he lazily asked, Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, do you recognize this thing? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's eyes immediately shot towards Lin Dong's hand. Quickly after, the Golden Ape Demon Commander and Ghost Condor Demon Commander saw the sneering look on the former's face stiffened little by little as rich shock and disbelief replaced it. This, this is the Dragon Tribe's punishment seal? Why is it in your hands? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander was stupefied. He immediately cried out in anger, How dare you steal the Dragon Tribe's punishment seal? Are you seeking death? Do you know how serious of a crime this is? Crime? This was given to me by the Dragon Tribe's Grand Elder. What crime have I committed? Lin Dong smilingly looked at the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander as his eyes gradually became ice cold, 
I am the new punishment elder of the Dragon Tribe. Do you know that as a member of the Dragon Tribe, you have already committed a crime by contradicting me? The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's expression changed as he raged, Nonsense! How can an outsider like yourself take the position of the Dragon Tribe's punishment elder? Lin Dong had an indifferent expression. He slowly stood up, holding the punishment seal in his hand as his skin gradually became akin to crystal. An indescribably pure and mighty pressure swept out from within his body and enveloped the large hall. The surrounding air seemed to freeze as this mighty pressure spread, causing even the Golden Ape Demon Commander duo to have grave expressions. They could clearly feel the pureness of this pressure. Even an expert who possessed the most authentic dragon bloodline did not possess such a pure dragon pressure. The both of them turned their eyes towards the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander, only to find that the latter's face was pale. As a member of the Dragon Tribe, it was obvious that the pressure emitted by the primal dragon bones within Lin Dong's body greatly suppressed him. This pressure. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander's eyes trembled as they stared at Lin Dong. It was as though he was peering into Lin Dong's body. The crystal clear bones deep in his body appeared just like a coiling jade dragon. This ancient being gave off an endless pressure. These dragon bones, could it be that you actually possess the ancient dragon bone? The heaven dragon demon commander involuntarily cried out. He could sense just how powerful the dragon bones in Lin Dong's body were. It was likely that only the ancient dragon bones possessed such dense and pure pressure. The corners of Lin Dong's mouth curled slightly, but he did not bother to give any explanation. It was likely that the ancient dragon bones were already able to deter the heaven dragon demon commander. Hence, he did not elaborate. It was always best to hold back a little. I made a trip to the ancient dragon transformation pool. Now, are there any other questions? Lin Dong asked in a flat voice. Ancient dragon transformation pool. The heaven dragon demon commander muttered to himself. That was a sacred land in his heart. The dragon bone in his body was only at the middle grade. If he could enter the dragon transformation pool, it would likely raise the purity of his bloodline. Unfortunately, he did not possess the qualifications to enter that place. Although he was also considered a member of the dragon tribe, he was merely a fringe member and it was likely that he would even have difficulty being accepted by the dragon tribe if not for his samsara stage strength. Heaven Dragon greets the Punishment Elder. The Heaven Dragon Demon Commander finally recovered from his absent-minded state. He hurriedly got up and greeted Lin Dong with the courtesy of the Dragon Tribe. The Dragon Tribe had strict rules. Additionally, the Punishment Elder possessed an authority which was second only to the tribe leader. He understood that if he was to offend Lin Dong, who was the Punishment Elder, he would only end up suffering. At this moment, he had finally kept all the disrespect he had for Lin Dong. The punishment seal in Lin Dong's possession had a suppressive effect against the members of the Dragon Tribe. Hence, he understood that he would likely end up in an extremely miserable state if Lin Dong used the punishment seal against him. Lin Dong quietly sighed in relief upon seeing that this untamable and proud fellow had submitted. Soon after, he waved his hand and said, I am the new punishment elder of the Dragon Tribe. If we form an alliance, I will let all of you have the protection of the Dragon Tribe. Now, do any of you have any other questions? The three great demon commanders exchanged glances with each other. Heaven Dragon, although it is very difficult for an outsider to enter the ancient dragon transformation pool, I might be able to think of a way for you to enter in future. Lin Dong smiled faintly and said. The Heaven Dragon demon commander's body shook upon hearing this. He lifted his head and looked at Lin Dong with somewhat trembling eyes as he quickly nodded in a violent manner. I will obey Elder's orders. This temptation Lin Dong offered made it impossible for the Heaven Dragon Demon Commander to reject. As for the two of you, both of you have already met my second brother. He is one of the potential successors for the position of tribe leader in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. If he succeeds, he will control the Celestial Demon Martin tribe in the future. At that time, we will have some relation with both the Celestial Demon Martin tribe and the Dragon tribe. 
Both of you should understand what this means, Lin Dong turned his eyes towards the Golden Ape Demon Commander duo and warmly smiled. The Golden Ape Demon Commander duo opened and closed their mouths as a searing heat rose from deep within their eyes. If they really had two of the Overlord tribes backing them, it was likely that their reputation would shake the demonic beast world. This honor was rarely seen even in the entire demonic beast world. Therefore, after a brief struggle, the two of them faced each other before heavily nodding. Good. Lin Dong looked at those two who had finally agreed as a satisfied smile appeared on his face. Once they boarded his ship, it was not going to be easy to leave.